High Street Rail, um, and I am a strong supporter of High Street Rail. I think it is um, embarrassing for California that it takes twice as, taking, getting from San Francisco to LA takes twice as long on a train as it does to drive. It's like 11 or 12 hours. Uh, and we can't keep expanding our freeways. It's not sustainable. It's unbelievable. Widening like freeways from state end to end of the state, shocking, like unbelievably expensive. We're not going to keep doing that. Uh, and our airports are running out of capacity. Uh, the run we just can't. We have to have real train service. And uh, we're uh, you know we're I, a lot of us are very committed to making it a reality. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, if, uh, for those of you who follow me on social media, once a year, I, I do it every year, my annual ritual, there is a, uh, in terms of the cost increases in high speed rail. Once a, uh, there is a 19, January 1966 amazing front page of the Chronicle talking about the BART boondoggle and have we been tricked, and because BART's expenses had gone up, and they were just trashing BART. This is just a fantasy, and never going to happen, uh, and Imagine the Bay Area without BART. Mm -hmm. Golden Gate Bridge, cost increases, opposition, imagine not having a Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. So every major transformational um, transportation infrastructure project ever, pretty much, has had, it's more expensive than you think it's going to be, it's taken longer. Uh, high Street Rail is no different. I think we are going to get it done. Um, and uh, I think we're then going to wonder what, how we ever uh, live uh, without it.